All right, now that we've got our station set up completed, we've got our two points in the system on our swim grid, we're gonna to go to measure rounds. We're gonna turn in our next traverse point. All right, so we're gonna to go to menu. We're gonna measure. We're gonna to go to measure rounds. Okay, it's gonna automatically default to the back site which is 200, which we did in a previous video. I'm gonna say accept. And then we're gonna to turn to our next point. So I'm on 100, backsetting 200, and I wanna to turn to 101. And I'm gonna call that control point. You can call it traverse point, you, can, you know, whatever it's- No target. It could be a monument, could be, um, a disc or something out there in the field. So I'm turning my instrument and I'm going to lock onto my target locked. Next target. Okay. I'm going to leave target height at zero. It's a um, another prism mounted on the wall. And I'm going to go into options. So here is where you can set your preferences your observation order and your face. Okay. Sets per point, number of rounds time between rounds, all that. We're gonna say accept. So I'm gonna hit measure. Observation, Observation stored. stored. Okay. So I only, if I had multiple points at this point, multiple observations and rounds to turn, I could turn to the next prism or the next control point. And then it would take the shot the way I have it set up right now. One, two, three. If we only have one, we're just going to say end phase. First phase completed. The robot's going to inverse. Target locked. At this point, most observation stored. Target locked. We're turning to our 101 now. Round completed. Changing phase. All right. Target locked. Moving on to target, target locked. Round. Observation, Observation stored. stored. Shooting our back sight. Shooting target our locked. Back. First phase completed. completed. Target, target locked. locked. Shooting our back sight. Observation, Observation stored. stored. Target, target locked. locked. Back to our foresight. Round completed. Changing face. Target locked. Target locked. Observation stored. Target locked. First face completed. And what we're doing here is we're target locked. Multiple faces, multiple angles, multiple distances, both with the scope. Um, Observation stored. Reversed and target locked. We're gonna come up once this is done, and we're gonna see our residual round, round completed. completed. So changing changing face. face. Target, target locked. locked. All right. So looks like we've got a horizontal delta of for, between. Uh, 100 where I'm occupying to 101 our foresight of about two seconds the vertical really tight at one second and our um, elevation is <clears throat> down to two thousands all right no uh, two two hundreds excuse me all right so I like what I got there I'm gonna say close I'm gonna save and exit the rounds all right, so now I want to move to 101 um, and backsite 100. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to go to measure. All right, now I could just pick up right now and say, and then reset and do a new station setup, but I'm going to have to walk a while. So I'm going to take the gun down and uh, put it in the box and power it off. So I'm going to say, and conventional survey. And that's 
simple measure in rounds.